guys welcome back to my little youtube channel i'm emma thank you guys for clicking on my video i really hope you enjoy this one today's video is going to be a then versus now makeup style video i can't believe how much my makeup technique has changed throughout the year but especially i feel like it's really really changed from like 2019 to now just how people contour their face how they do their eyebrows i just think so much has changed and it's not until you actually think about it i don't actually do my makeup actually the same at all anymore so i'm gonna talk you through how i used to do it and how i do it now i'm gonna start off with my eyebrows i'm gonna do this side of my face how I used to do it and then this side of my face how I do it now and look at the state of my hand that one's not too bad but that one oh my god I had such a disaster with the fake tan to start off with I've actually already got a layer of foundation on and I've covered up any blemishes that I have to start off as a base but I'm going to go straight in and do my eyebrows so how I used to do it I used to use a brow powder it's all about the powders I think um and how and you used to use like an angular brush and like just make it as solid as you can oh I haven't used this in so long it feels really weird to like fill in my eyebrows like so much oh goodness and blend it out but I actually just use a brow pencil now and I just don't even really fill my eyebrows in that much at all oh this is scary my brows are a lot thicker now but I'm gonna make them look a bit thinner they were really thin at one point. I used to really make sure there was absolutely no gaps whatsoever. And then I used to get a concealer like this. Um, I used to get a concealer brush and then I used to go like this. And then I used to really make sure I had a really, really, really sharp line. When I look back at pictures, my eyebrows like I don't know they make such a big difference to your face and I used to go right underneath I used to not be able to do my makeup without doing this wow strong brow <laughs> and like the trend at the moment like straight brows are really the trend to have like that end of your brow going up like that I like the fox eye kind of look but back in the day a few years ago it was really popular to have like really arched brows no brow gel whatsoever but then now I brush my eyebrows up I've laminated them which is now a trend they're super super thick and hairy and I use a Charlotte Tilbury brow pencil in colour supermodel brow I think this is called and I literally just fill them in a little bit I actually like to use my HD brow um, pencil can't remember what this pencil is called but it's like their original brow pencil and you like sculpt it so it's as fine as you can get it and then you actually just put in hair strokes so I'm going to use a little mirror for this you're literally drawing in like every individual hair which looks so much more natural than that block brow this is a black pencil but because the lines are so fine that you can make with it it um, actually doesn't look too dark at all I think you need it quite a dark colour so that you can actually see the hairs whoops unless you do it a bit too bit too heavy handed like me and I actually like to use a clear brow gel this is just a NYX one Called control freak and I just love to now brush my brows up comb them through so they look nice and hairy and a bit more natural but they also look neat as well moving on to how I contour my face that has changed quite a lot I would say I still like to use a stick style contour thing I used to use a palette um, that had like different colours of contour had a really 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 dark contour colour in I don't know, contour palettes were just such a thing but now I just like to use a simple one colour this is the Studio MAC um, Studio Fix foundation stick um, I used this in my previous video for my makeup look but I used this in NW43 
and is pretty good colour um, for me anyway. I used to contour like, I feel like I used to just do a big line right down to my mouth pretty much and then the only place I'd contour was probably there and then I would think I used to just go like that. That used to be pretty much it. But now I like to put the contour mainly just there. Um, I put a little bit there as well and mainly underneath my jaw like that. Whereas before, I think I used to actually just whack it right on my jaw. Like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then I also like to put a bit just there as well. And probably a bit more on my forehead, but bringing it all the way down to the side. So the whole of the side of that face is pretty much contoured. So you go in like this, basically. And that side's just the basic contour <laughs> where I feel like when Kim Kardashian started the whole contouring trend the pictures that I saw online it was always just right down to the mouth but you don't really need that that's not natural to be honest so I just like to put a little bit there and you can always build it up as you go along so I'm gonna just blend that in and one of the main differences when I'm contouring I used to literally just get the contour stick and just go right down the side of my nose boom like that <laughs> that's pretty much all I used to do maybe a little around the bottom maybe and literally start it like there and then blend it out with a beauty blender but now I get the contour stick and I actually use a little brush like this and then I just like blend a little bit on there and then I go all the way from here then I go more on top of my nose, just a real subtle like contour. I feel like if you put contour how I used to, like right on the side of each of your nose, either side of your nose, it just makes like your nose look bigger to be honest. So yeah, I like to do the contouring mainly on the top of my nose, not too much. And then I like to bring it in my eye socket as well. You're not leaving that part out so it doesn't just start randomly there. So you're actually bringing it up as well. Because um, you're blending it with a brush already. You don't need to blend it anymore. And you don't get any like harsh lines. Which I think is quite um, easy to do when you're just putting on the stick. Painting it all over your face. Then I even bring that out to here as well. I don't think I ever used to put any contour around my lips but I actually like to now. I get the same little brush and I just put a little bit at the bottom and a little bit in my cupid's bow as well. And moving on to where I put my concealer and stuff, I feel like there was a huge trend of putting a really pale under eye concealer in like a triangle underneath your eye and that has just completely changed now I keep seeing videos um, on Instagram of people just putting like concealer here and like in little areas. So I'm gonna show you what I actually do. So I used to use probably like a really, really pale concealer. I think I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna just show you what I used to do. I feel like it was that whole section like that. And then where else did I used to put it? Down my nose maybe literally in a straight line that's I'm trying to do it on that side of my face because I can show you the other side how I do it um oh and I probably would have added a bit extra on the arch like that just like that and then now I like to use this um flawless fusion concealer um in Laura Mercier one and this is in color 1c so it's a bit of a pinky color and instead of doing a whole massive triangle like that, all I do now is I put a bit here, going right up there, um, I put a bit there, I also put a little bit there, around my nose, um, 
it here and then I like to put a bit on my chin and then I sometimes even put a bit along my jawline like that so yeah it's really really changed how it's gone from just whacking a great big triangle underneath your eye to dotting it in these different areas oh forgot to do the nose as well so I actually only put this probably there and then on the end um, and I like to just put a little bit there as well so I'm just gonna blend all of that in with my beauty blender hopefully you can tell a difference um, when I blend it in even now you can tell how much contour I probably used to put on I need to like blend it out a little bit so I don't think it used to look quite that dark but I mean it probably did <laughs> I used to love a dark contour <laughs> like the amount of under eye concealer as well it's going to make this whole section just, I don't know, covered in concealer when you really don't need that much. It's just blending out all over the place. And like you can already tell, like with just putting that bit just there and just there, it just really brightens up like the right places. It really makes like that section pop out more. Whereas on that side, it's just flat, to be honest with you. So yeah, I feel like that's one of the main changes with how I do my makeup now. And then on this side, um, we're putting the contour more underneath your jaw and then like a lighter colour on the edge of your jaw. It just really makes your jawline look like even better, to be honest with you. And then on this side, you can just see like it's just a dark line, which isn't really doing much for your jawline. It's just putting, making it look darker. So yeah, I've really noticed, especially in photos, you can just really tell a difference from when you put it more underneath and like just blend it down. This makes everything look a bit more um, pronounced. <laughs> and with powder, I still use my favourite Little Mercy powder, but I used to get a big powder puff and literally like make my skin look as matte as possible. So I'm just going to use my beauty blender for that. And I really used to pack it on make my skin look so matte but I feel like that was a trend to have really matte skin matte lips matte everything <laughs> matte brows as well like, don't get me wrong I love a like matte skin still but maybe not quite so matte <laughs> just a little bit of a more of a natural glow is nice what I do now is just use a brush and really lightly just dab it on so even this side it just feels heavier with the amount of powder I probably used to put on I think I used to actually try and bake with this as well let's try and give that a go a bit like that a whole massive section like that but now I don't even think I used that for baking very often but I don't do it in a big section like that I would probably get my other little tiny powder which is more of a white colour it's a lot finer um, and I would still use a beauty blender to do this but I would literally just put it basically where I put the concealer earlier so just a little bit here and here as well maybe a bit down there and then I also put it here and maybe a bit on my chin I also like to put it here like that so that is a mega difference um, with how I do any baking now I'm just going to dust that out Another thing with baking, I've also been doing this as well. I get it from here underneath your contour and then I've been going like up like that. Maybe not quite like that. <laughs> um, but so it's kind of like like that kind of shape. I feel like it just makes your cheeks look really nice. Um, 
I'm just going to dust that out. Moving on to my eyes. I used to really love a cut crease. And that was just such a huge trend in makeup. Not so much anymore. It's more like the foxy eye look now. But it just goes to show how makeup trends come and go so quickly. But yeah, I'm going to have a go at a cut crease. I don't even know how I used to do it. Probably lots of concealer on top of eyeshadow. I remember trying to make my eyes look as big and as round as I could. None of this fox eye, long, elongated, nothing like that. I'm just going to try and do it how I think I used to. The darker colour. Oh, that's a bit dark. <laughs> but I definitely remember doing like a darker colour here. And try to do a cut crease. Um, maybe use my brush for this. This could go horribly wrong. Just don't know how I had the time to do this. I would definitely use a black eyeliner and do it all the way along, quite a thick line all the way along. Not too bad actually. <laughs> I would probably use like um, a real gold colour. It's really not going too well. <laughs> I'm trying my best. And then I remember I definitely used to put like a really pale um, shimmery colour. Like a lot here. Like loads like that. Yep. And then a bit more under there as well i probably would have still put a little bit of eyeshadow under here but probably just towards the outer edge and i probably would have also put on a big false eyelash that was really really round really thick really long but i actually don't own any eyelashes anymore apart from like individual ones moving on to what i do now um i always curl my eyelashes just my natural eyelashes and I always get my matte bronzer first and I kind of go over where I contoured before and then bring it up here as well and then I also sometimes bring it down my nose just a little bit to blend it all together then I'm just going to use this colour, which is one of my favourites, um, and just do a tiny bit on like the outer um, edge of my eye, outer corner, should I say. And then get the same colour, or maybe a lighter one, and just do it like right underneath on the bottom lash line as well. And kind of blending it in with this whole section as well. I normally get my black eyeliner um, and sometimes do eyeliner and then put eyeshadow over the top but on an everyday basis I would probably just use my angular eyeshadow brush and then use like a dark-ish colour and then do um, an eyeliner like wing um, just with the eyeshadow so it's a lot more subtle um, not as dramatic as that side. So when I'm doing my eyeshadow liner, <laughs> um, I really only bring it to like the middle of my eye and then just bring it out quite a lot. I just don't bring it in any further than halfway because I just want to make my eye look longer and more elongated and more kind of um, foxy eyed. <laughs> used to really pack on the mascara as well especially on the bottom lashes as well used to make sure that they were all covered all looking really long um, and really defined but now if I wanted my eyelashes to look really long if I was going out or something I would maybe maybe if I'd be bothered put on some individual lashes and then go over the top with a little bit of mascara so they blend in so it looked really really natural um 
So yeah, I normally just put a little bit of mascara on the top with a black mascara. I often just like to put a little bit on my bottom lashes. I actually like to use a brown mascara for the bottom ones. This is a Max Factor one. It's in brown black or black brown, should I say. Um, and I just put a little bit on the bottom lashes. And then with blusher, um, I don't even think I used to wear a lot of blusher. It always used to be a lot of highlight. Like a lot of highlight, like here. So I'll do that in a minute, but the blusher that I really, really like, um, I've been using this one for the past year, I think, is the colour Gina from NARS. And I like to just put my blusher now mainly just like a high point of my cheekbone not too into the middle just mainly here now what um ooh, what i like to use now is like an all over face powder but this is from hourglass and this is the luminous light powder and i've got like the mini version which is really handy um i just get this with my little brush and then i just go like here where i want my cheeks to look a bit more rounded and highlighted a bit maybe on my forehead here a little bit on the end of my nose and a little bit here so it's kind of like a really really subtle highlight um and where i used to put my highlight oh gosh i used to use this one from becca i think it was called champagne pop that's still really really nice um but i just think it's just way too much highlight for me um i don't even think i've got that anymore don't know where that went but i'm gonna just show you what i used to do and i'm gonna just use the charlotte tilbury highlighter in this palette and i used to really get it and put it just like that Pretty sure I used to go right up there as well. So much highlighter. <laughs> and then a lot of my Cupid's bow too. And more, probably more here as well. Just to make that arch of the brow really pop. <laughs> One more thing is the lips. Um, I feel like couple of years ago when like I don't even know when it was but the Kylie lip kits came out it was all about matte lips and the thought of just having such a dry matte lip now just really oof I don't know my lips feel dry anyway I don't want to put anything on them that's gonna dry them out even more still love a matte matte-ish lip but just not as matte as I used to because it used to just look so dry and just one solid solid color so i will try and recreate that on this side i would show you with a um a kylie lip kit that i used to have but i just don't think i've got it anymore i feel like it dried up loads but i did used to really like it i like the lip liners more than the uh actual lipstick itself just gonna do half my lips it's looking very strange um i used to fill in my whole lip with the lip liner and then what can i use now i'm gonna still use my favorite lipstick in my tweedy from mac this is a really matte um lipstick but i'm just gonna put that on like that and then to make it as matte as I used to have it, I'm going to just put some powder on my lips. But now, what I like to do is, I, I'll still use the same lip liner, but um, I would probably only go mainly around the edge with it. I actually think I might use this other lipstick which is a Charlotte Tilbury one in the colour Very Victoria and um, this is a bit more of a moisturising lipstick such a nice colour 
Um, I don't know if you can really tell the difference. Probably because I'm still using like the same kind of products, but I tried to make that side as matte as I possibly could. Um, but I also, on what I do now, I probably would use like even darker lip liner just to go around the outside just a little bit more so it's more of like an ombre lip um, and I never ever used to do that, I used to be the same colour um, lip liner with the same colour liquid lipstick over the top so it's just a solid lip colour whereas now I use probably like two different lip liners and a different lipstick altogether so it's going darker to lighter um, but yeah I think that's the finished look um, so this side is what I used to do my makeup like if I go back to my old Instagram photos they were so edited my eyebrows were so so thin um, my eye makeup was just tr so dramatic um, and my contour was on another level <laughs> so it was my highlight um, yeah I just really can't wait to get that off um, but yeah, this side is more how I do it now. A lot more natural on the brow. More of a winged eye, uh, foxy eye look. More of a dewier, nicer, um, not as matte skin. And less eyelashes. And more of a, a dewy lip as well. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I'd love to know what you want me to film next. Um, it could be literally anything at all, um, hair tutorial, whatever you want. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys! Mwah.